everyone, my name is Jess, and I'm going to do a review today on the Medea 2.1 cubic foot portable washing machine. Now, there haven't really been that many reviews on it. Um, there was one I saw on YouTube, but that was really it. All the other ones were for different brands. Now, before I start and show you how this works and everything, I want to let you know I got this at Jets.com for $240. No tax, free shipping. <clears throat> they give... 30% off your first purchase and another 1.5% off when you use your debit card at checkout. Walmart had the same washer here for $280 and $100 shipping. And um, to me that's a little expensive, but they Jet.com shipped it right to my house. No dings or anything, came double boxed. So I just wanted to show you the inside before we load it up. So this is where you put your detergent. And then over here this comes out and this is your lint trap so let's get ready I want to show you how much this actually holds it does hold quite a bit um, so we'll start throwing some stuff in here so you can see exactly how much it actually holds because it holds quite a bit so I have two kids and me and my boyfriend so we have quite a bit of laundry to do so this actually looks like a good amount and do this and so you just put your detergent in so, let's see if I can do it one handed and so I'm gonna just pour your detergent in and I'm just gonna pour it in just like this and you can pour however much you want or however much you think would be good and then it comes out here Right at the bottom, and then you close it up, and turn it on, and you have all these different settings of what you want done. This has um, actually really cool settings where you can do all three if you want. You could do a rinse and a spin if you want, or just a spin. If you do just a spin, it's uh, eight minutes. I always do a large and uh, a heavy wash or a quick wash. A quick wash takes about ten minutes. So you pick what you want. You have your settings that you want done, the size, this tells you how much time. You can delay it if you want to. These are the settings for the different kinds of clothes you want done or how you want them washed. And here are the hot, warm, and cold settings. So you're all set with that. You just hit play. And you come over to your sink. And turn it on. Now, and then it'll start filling up. As you can see right there. Now, if you have a washer like mine, I got a quick connect adapter that came with my washer and it came with the hose and everything too, which was great. But my quick connect adapter is not threaded properly, so this is what happens when I turn my water on. When it shuts off to start the wash, it'll start spraying everywhere. So we just need to get a new quick connect adapter. It's not anything really wrong with anything else. It's not the washer, it's just the connector that hooks up to the hose. So. As you can see, it's starting to wash here now. It's filling up. It doesn't take a long time. This is going to take about 45 minutes because I didn't mess with any of the settings and I just hit play. So it works really, really well. You can see it holds a lot. So I give it really good ratings. I've had it for about a week. <clears throat> it works really, really well. It doesn't shake. It's easier for me to kind of push a little bit. Um, I have fibromyalgia, so it's hard for me to get up and down stairs with baskets of laundry and things like that. So this is really good if you're disabled or, you know, you're in an apartment that just doesn't have hookups for a washer and dryer because this just hooks right up to your sink. So I can come in here and just do some laundry, however many loads I want in a day, it doesn't really matter. Um, it plugs into standard outlets, 120 volt outlet, so and it costs about $19 a year to run this washer. So that's actually really not that bad. It's like using a microwave. So it, it works pretty well. And then I also got the Magic Chef 2.6 cubic foot dryer. And I actually read pretty good reviews on it. And I am very, very glad that I did purchase this. It's a great little dryer. Um, it has a few different settings. I always just put it on the red and let it go through. It takes under an hour to dry my clothes. Um, this is what one dryer round did did more than half a basket of clothes for me that's including hoodies and sweatpants and things like that so 
And if you look over here, there's a little vent right here. It doesn't really blow hot air, it's more like warm air. And you can vent it outside if you want. I mean, you don't have to. I just have it over here by the window and open up the window when it's drying. And it really works for us. It's not really that big of a deal. So I got this dryer on walmart.com for about $235. Now the price might have gone up since then because Walmart really fluctuates their prices a lot. And um, I did this site to store and it came in late and a whole bunch of other stuff. So you might not want to get it at Walmart. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or something, but it's going to be a little bit more expensive to get it through them versus through Walmart. But I finally have it and it works really, really well. And like, it, just like the washing machine, it plugs into a standard 120 volt um, wall or socket rather and um, it works pretty pretty well so if you're looking for a portable washing machine and a portable dryer I would re recommend the Medea 2.1 cubic foot portable washer and the Magic Chef 2.6 portable compact dryer they're just awesome I'll, you can mount the dryer you can put the dryer on a table I just have mine on the floor and it just works better for me that way it doesn't shake so it doesn't disturb my neighbors or anything like that and uh, doesn't get too hot in here or unbearably hot it's not loud I can be in my living room watching TV and I can barely hear it and it's um, the same thing for the washer the only time the washer really gets loud is when it spins out and it's about 25 seconds and then it quiets down now this is what I was talking about earlier is when it kicks off the water so it can start washing this is what happens to my faucet and if it is not wrapped up, it kind of spews everywhere. And we really, really don't want that. So if your hose, if your um, faucet is doing this, you should go out and get a new um, quick connector adapter. We just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. This works for now. So we shut it off in between, and then we just turn it back on after. Now if, it's your, if your faucet isn't leaking like that, then you don't have to shut it off between cycles or um, operations or whatever it is that it does. So, you can see it's spinning here. So I just, I think this is a really good washer and dryer. It works very well for me and my family of four. And I didn't see a lot of reviews out there. I've seen a lot of written reviews and they're very different. They're on different sizes, different models. And you can't really get a picture for what they are. You can see right here, the counter is right behind it and it's just at level with the counter. So you might think a 2.1 cubic foot washer is kind of small it's actually really not it actually holds a lot of stuff it's the same thing with the dryer the dryer holds even more than the washer does and that's what you really want you want a dryer that holds more than your washing machine does because wet clothes weigh more so um, I'm not really sure what else there is to say about it it's really really good I haven't had any problems with it at all and it works very very well it's the same as the dryer so I mean I guess that's it.